Hey, welcome back. So let's try and test if, if what we just built actually work. I'm going to show you two things to test that. And one is, I haven't talked that much about security yet. We could go into our code now and say, we're going to try and test this. But to do that, we have to change um, authentication because to get all the syllabuses, you need to be locked in. Or we could just let Postman actually use authentication the right way. That's what we're going to do. And um, what I want to do is now Try to show you in Postman how we can do authentication from Postman actually. Because we need what we call the bearer token right here. So notice that, let me just zoom a bit here again. We have this guy called the bearer token. And uh, that's actually what we need to log in. So let's just, I'm just going to remove that. I'm going to do a send here with the query we just talked about. And I'll get no authorization token was found. That's a good thing because that means that our application is actually somewhat secure on the back end. So how do we actually get authentication token? Well, what you have to do is actually before we do the before we can get the data, we have to get a bearer token that we can send with our request. So that the server can say, well, they sent me a token. I'll open it up and I'll see, is this the user I expect it is? He's locked in. Great. It's the right user. Then I'll give him the data. OK, so we need to get the bearer token first. And it's very, very simple for us to do. We, have, we can make a post request against this URL right here, the auth local. This means you can actually start your backend, you can start calling that from any type of application. That could be a Yonix setup, that could be an Android app, that could be an iOS app. You can start doing that using this setup if you want to, using the bearer token. So I'm going to say, first of all, this is the URL I'm going to call, slash auth, slash local, and it's a post request. The headers is a content type of application JSON, Nothing new there. And the body, I'm going to send over an actual request. I want to uh, try to log in as the test guy. So it's going to be test.example.com and the password is test. Then I do a send. And if everything works out, I get a token back. This is the token I need now to actually start working with my data. So let's go back to the one we just made here. And again, let's just make it fail again unhappy days not so good but what we do we add a new header type and this type is going to be called authorization and there I'm going to make a guy called bearer with the huge token we just got back in the first request I'm going to do a send now and now the data is available for me so that was just an extra thing if you guys want to use postman to test your rest API's but you can't get past the authorization this is what you have to do